Welcome to this module on DNA extraction. Over the course of this module, we will discuss the fundamental principles of DNA extraction and the procedures associated with DNA extraction. The process of DNA extraction consists of the following steps. Cell lysis, precipitation of proteins, removal of RNA, and precipitation of DNA. Cell lysis can be carried out using strong denaturants such as sodium dodecyl sulfate, which is a surfactant. The lysis of the cell depends on the type of the cell. For instance, plant cells will require an enzyme known as cellulase to degrade the cellular components which primarily consist of cellulose. In the case of yeast, the enzyme lytocase may be utilized to degrade cellular components associated with yeast. In the case of protein-rich cells such as animal cells, proteinase K can be employed to degrade the proteinaceous components of the cell wall. In the case of gram-negative bacteria, no additional enzymes are required. However, in the case of gram-positive bacteria, lysozyme may be utilized to break down cellular components. These enzymes increase the efficiency of DNA recovery during the extraction procedure. One of the major enzymes involved in the degradation of DNA is DNAs. DNAs requires magnesium ions as a cofactor in order to be functional. The addition of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid EDTA chelates magnesium ions and renders DNAs inactive. The next procedure involves the precipitation of proteins which are associated with the DNA and with the cell itself. Proteins can be precipitated using organic solvents such as phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol. When proteins and DNA are mixed with these organic solvents, the DNA transfers to the aqueous phase whereas the proteins transfer to the interface. The aqueous phase can then be separated and transferred into a fresh test tube for precipitation. This is a depiction of the aqueous and organic phase. As you can see in the following diagram, the organic phase is depicted in orange and this can be the phenol or chloroform solvent. The aqueous phase which contains the DNA is depicted in grey and the interface is de depicted as a white mark. This interface contains the precipitated proteins. In order to isolate the DNA, the aqueous phase can be pipetted out into a fresh tube and precipitated using alcohols. Of RNAs as RNA can interfere with the downstream processing of DNA. RNA is degraded by the addition of the RNAs enzyme under acidic conditions. The degraded RNA can be removed using solvent extraction step with chlorophyll. Finally, DNA can be precipitated using isopropyl alcohol or absolute ethanol. Isopropanol is used in the ratio of 1 is to 1 and absolute ethanol can be utilized in the ratio of 1 is to 1 as well. Alcohols dehydrate the DNA and render it as a precipitate which is visible in the test tube. After extraction of the DNA, the water can be de removed using a desiccator. DNA quality can be assessed using spectrophotometry or by electrophoresis. And the amenability of DNA for downstream processing can be done by using PCR. Thank you for watching this module. Please complete your evaluation at the end of this section.